Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Ubuntu Productions. My name is Aaron Blanco Tejedor, and in this channel, we make web development tutorials with focus on simplicity. Today, we are going to make a Bricks Builder tutorial that is going to go straight into my Bricks Basics playlist in YouTube. In this playlist, you are going to find a series of videos about how to achieve the most basic and fundamental things in our beloved WordPress Visual Builder, Bricks Builder. And this time, we are going to learn how to load a template site-wide in Bricks Builder. Imagine that we want to create a section that we need to load through the entire website and it's not a footer, a footer, <laughs> and it's not a header. So how do we need to configure the template in order to achieve this? That's exactly what we are going to learn today. When I switched from Oxygen Builder to Bricks Builder, it took me quite a while to figure out how to do this. And eventually I found um, a thread inside the Bricks Builder forum where people were discussing exactly about this. Even though like uh, we found the solution, many users like me at the beginning seem quite confused about how to achieve this. It's, this is also a question that I can see quite often coming up in the Bricks uh, community forum in Facebook, Bricks community forum, no, in the Bricks community in Facebook. So I decided to do this short video explaining this very basic concept in Bricks Builder. Number one, we go to the drop down and select single. We publish it and edit it with bricks. Number two, we go to settings, template settings, conditions, and we add a condition to load it in the entire website. Number three, we go to elements and add an element on top of the structure panel called post content and we point the post content to bricks. We save this and we are done. So let's go straight to a um, template I have in order to make these tutorials. Imagine that I want these floating icons that you see over here for contacting via email, telephone, Facebook or Instagram and I want to load it site-wide, complicated word, site-wide I want to load it and how do we achieve this? So in this case, what I'm going to do is to copy this section from this template over here and I will like put it on the bin in the, or I will edit it in order to put it as a draft. So when we refresh the page, it's not there. Like the, the template is not published anymore, so it's not there. So we are going to do this from the beginning together. So first thing, we are going to add a new template. And this template is going to call floating icons in this uh, occasion. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure we select single. That's the kind of template we need, the single kind of template. And then that's the first step. We go to published and we edit it with Bricks Builder. We will copy the element forever. And now we have the floating section here. Let's see what happens when we make a template and we uh, choose a single as a template. Let's see what happens because that's we are not there. Nothing happens. Why? because we haven't configured where this template is going to show. We just decided what kind of template it is. That's the second step. Let's go to the settings, template settings. Let's go to the conditions and we add a condition and we say that we want this template load in the entire website. Let's save this. And that's the second step. And you will see that we are not ready because when we update this, that template has override, override, override everything else in the web page. Why is that? And this is the part that confuses most of the people. We are going to go to elements and the element that we need is called post content. 
and we are going to grab it and put it, for example, on top of our section. And now we are going to click in the post content and the source of the data we are going to put bricks. So once we save and we go to the front page, we see that we have exactly what we wanted. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it super helpful. I want to send love to all of you. I want to wish you a beautiful day. And remember that only by helping each other, only by respecting and loving each other, we can create of this a more kind and beautiful humanity together. Thank you for being there. Bye bye.